and welcome to Splotch Code. In this mini lesson, I'm going to show you how you can use the arrow keys on your computer keyboard to make your sprite move. So our sprite is our cat. And what I'm going to do, I'm going over to our events and I'm going to choose this one here that says when space key is pressed. But what we'll do is instead of it being the space key, we're going to make it our right arrow. So we're wanting to him to move. When we hit the right arrow, we want him to move right this direction. Now, if we go to motion, that's where all our moving things are. You'll remember if you've watched the X and Y coordinates video, we talked about the fact that the X coordinate is getting him to move left and right, and the Y is moving him up and down. So we want to change, for him to move to the right, we want to change the X coordinate by 10. So if we have a look at that, if I now hit my right arrow key on my computer, he moves slightly to the right. I'll do it again and do it again. There we go. So that's working. Now what we want to do is we want to say what, how we want him to move to the left. So again we go to events, we choose the when the space key is pressed, but this time we say when we move the left arrow. We go to motion again and we change by 10, but instead this time we make it minus 10. And you'll remember that that means he's moved, going to move back towards the left. So let's have a look now, when I press my left arrow key, he moving, he's moving backwards by 10. Okay, what about up and down? Well, up and down is used going, we're gonna use our up and down arrows, but that is changing our Y coordinate. So Y moving positive 10 and Y moving negative 10 to go down. But again, we are going to need our event of when this time we'll say the up arrow key is pressed. We'll go back to motion and this time instead of choosing the change by X we need to change by Y. So when we press up he's going to go 10 in the direction up. So let's have a look. I'll press the arrow key and he starts moving up. So Pretty obviously, when we need to do it down, we just choose the when the down arrow is pressed. We go to motion, we choose again the change by Y, but of course this time it's negative 10 because he's gonna move down. So let's have a look now. If I hit my down, he starts moving down. So I can now move him all the directions that I want and obviously that's something you often want to use in your games. Thanks for watching Splotch Code.